she in uh in um you know buddhist tradition or um you know others um i think you know and that's my opinion because you know just based on the description that's given um you know it's it's seen it's described as this substance that's prevailing everything that's that's in everything and that as uh all this like uh how do you say um interaction with everything that has very strong interaction with with the physical world uh and that can that can be influenced by consciousness that carries information i mean the description that's given by these ancient tradition of chi is very much a description of what we think of uh, in terms of modern interpretation of the quantum uh, vacuum fluctuation. When I mean modern interpretation of the quantum vacuum fluctuation, I mean basically our interpretation here at the Resonance Science Foundation um, and, and others, you know, starting to catch on that this insane amount of energy that's in the vacuum is not just some background noise that you can ignore, but it's the source of the material world. Of course, the vacuum um, structure uh, and uh, your interaction with the vacuum structure is not only in your heart. Your heart is, um, is a central point of interaction for your consciousness and, and the way the physiology of the body function in the way it distributes the information. But every atom, every proton, every electron, everything you're made of is constantly interacting with the vacuum. But, they, but, but the structure of the physiology of your body, how the vacuum organizes the material structure to produce you makes nodes, very important nodes in your body uh, that the ancient Vedic called chakras, you know, mm -hmm. um, that, um, that many traditions identified and, and certainly the Taoist tradition and the Buddhist tradition identify even, you know, the smaller uh, interaction point, which are the meridian, you know, on your body, 